After an eight-week hiatus, jurors returned to the courtroom to hear testimony in the YSL trial. Jurors heard from the prosecution's star witness, but today he didn't seem to want to help the state's case very much. Fox 5's Eric Mock joins us now here in studio to help us break it all down. Eric? You know, Tom, it was another unprecedented day in an already unprecedented trial. You know, a huge part of the state's case relies on the testimony of Kenneth Lil Woody Copeland, who today seemed like he wanted to do, have nothing to do with helping the state's case. Throughout hours of questioning by prosecutors, Kenneth Lil Woody Copeland's favorite response was... I'm sorry, I don't, I don't recall. I don't recall. He was asked over and over again by Fulton County Deputy District Attorney Simone Hilton about whether he killed Donovan Nutt Thomas. And you didn't kill him, correct? How many times are you going to ask me that? The prosecution and witness seemed to go in circles like this all day Monday. It's a complete mess. That's trial attorney Tom Church, who's been following the case closely. I think it's devastating for the state, right? Uh, Mr. Copeland, or Woody as we know him now, was billed as the state's star witness, and now he is imploding on the stand. And what's remarkable is it seems to be intentional. I'm saying, which I want to pick and choose with. Okay, I don't recall. At what point does this reach obstruction, right? He, if there is proof that he does remember or that he is directly contradicting himself, um, they can call that perjury. But trial attorney and former Fulton County prosecutor Manny Aurora says the state may still be able to convict young thug even without Copeland's help. If Mr. Copeland goes sideways even with his prior testimony, perhaps there's not a murder conviction, but it's very, very easy to get a RICO conviction because you just need two lesser acts to prove the RICO, and they don't necessarily even have to be felonies. But Copeland did admit to some heinous acts after confirming with the judge that he would be covered by his immunity deal. Me and Threat shot up Rich McCoy and the barbershop on Bankhead. But Copeland always stopped short of implicating young thug. The prosecution tried to get him to admit it was because he was afraid of being a snitch. Miss Hilt, the damn world called me a snitch. You think I'm only concerned about telling the truth today. Then just before court wrapped up, Hilton did get Copeland to admit that Young Thug did rent him a car that prosecutors believe is linked to the murder of Donovan Thomas. Now Copeland's going to be back on the stand tomorrow morning. The defense has not had a chance to cross-examine him yet, Tom. Incredible. Just when you think this case is headed in one direction, it turns the exact opposite way. Absolutely. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Eric, thanks.